What's up guys, it's Little Dose coming back to you with another Liza P video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to basically beat the Black Brotherhood boss pretty easily. First things first, you want to go to the boss fight, summon um, that guy at the door. He makes the fight a whole lot easier. Um, I'm not going to go over like the details and what kind of build or what kind of things you need to go over. Instead, I'm going to show you more of like a cheese on how to get it done. So in order to... Uh, fight this man you're going to need a specific weapon that i'll show you at the end of the video you'll see the weapon i'm using and um you're basically going to use it to attack for the first part of the boss all four of the the humans right here of the black brotherhood um you're just going to be spinning your weapon around and it's going to deal massive damage and be hitting them all at once uh multiple times and they pretty much get deleted uh relatively quickly because you do have to fight them all. That's why uh, summoning a guy is really important. So that, well, you'll see. Right there. That little move right there is very, um, it's a very long range attack. And you can basically hit all of them. Makes it a little bit easier. And especially if you have um, the specific uh, sharpening stone for your weapon. You can make this whole fight a lot easier. But you're basically just going to run around and go ahead and spin attack all these guys. And you're going to use the same uh, technique for the boss battle as well. As you can see that they've already got... One guy's already been deleted pretty much. Hit both of them right there. And then I'll show you where exactly you're going to um, cheese the main boss in this fight. Because in case you guys didn't know, that special attack right there, it goes through walls meaning you can hit someone through a wall and it doesn't interrupt your attack at all. So once the boss go ahead and spawn, I'll go ahead and show you the spot in the video. I apologize for the mediocre gameplay. I wasn't really trying too, too hard. Um, I was actually streaming this whole fight while it was happening. So if you guys are on Twitch, go ahead and check it out. I'm trying to do a Liza P run right now before I go back to school. Um, trying to do a zero summons run too. I did a summon because the game was pretty hard, but I'm pretty much getting the hang of it now. So we're going to be doing that in the future. So this is the main guy I'm talking about in order to cheese this guy, you'll see. And there's two different methods on doing it. You could either use this right here, which I wouldn't recommend, but these little um, bags, he can maybe hit you through it. Uh, but you can still use it as a cheat spot. Doesn't work as well as the second spot. But as you can see that your attacks do go through it and his attacks are, they have a pretty rough time. But this other side right here behind this pillar that I'm going to, this is going to be the main spot. So you'll see that. He cannot hit you at all. And you just basically cheese him. It's super simple, super easy. And that uh, this attack right here does stagger him. And you can just use your fatal attack blow right when you need to. And it makes this boss battle so simple. I be Actually, this is my first try on the boss when I discovered this. So I thought I'd make a quick video before anyone else does. Just helping people out that may be struggling. Because I remember when I first fought these guys, they were pretty difficult the first time. So hopefully you guys won't have that problem. And like I said, at the end of the video, you'll be able to see the weapon that I'm using. Uh, you do get it from um, Alidoro, so you do have to purchase it. It is a boss weapon, so just do a quick Google search if you uh, can't find it. And make sure you don't spend all your souls on something else if you're watching this video early. But, yep, it's pretty much that simple. And that's how you cheese them. And then I'm going to open my inventory right now and show you the weapon that I have. Make this video quick and easy and then that'll be it. It is called the Puppet Ripper. Alright guys, if you liked the video, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, leave your feedback down below. Peace.